Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. Coalition MPs will gather in Canberra today with leadership teams for the Liberals and Nationals to be decided. Peter Dutton is said to take the reins for the Liberals, unopposed with Susan Lee to become his deputy. Senior Liberal Stuart Roberts says it is a great pairing. Peter Dutton is a, a well-known figure, very capable of leading us forward. Not aware of any other nominations. I'm looking forward to Peter being endorsed. While Barnaby Joyce is on the chopping block for the Nationals, he insists he is the best person for the job, though. From major infrastructure projects, inland rail, to the construction of dams, water infrastructure, and we want to continue that on. And I want to make sure that we bring the party together. That's from the ABC there. Darren Chester and David Littleproud have indicated they will both challenge for the leadership position. We're in for an icy start to winter this week with a polar blast bringing cooler temperatures across Australia's east. The Weather Bureau's Gabrielle Woodhouse says there are a few cold nights in store. In terms of overnight temperatures, it's actually going to be coolest um, on Thursday morning um, and that's going to be as we see the winds die down um, and that cold air mass is going to mean that we're looking at overnight temperatures being around the zero or a few degrees below along the ranges. More states have rolled out free flu vaccinations ahead of what's tipped to be a horror season this year. The shots are being rolled out in New South Wales and Victoria this week, WA and South Australia as well, following the lead of Queensland. Overseas and the US President and his wife have visited Uvalde, Texas, following the primary school massacre there. 21 people were killed when a gunman opened fire last week. Locals hopeful the presidential visit will signal change. Biden's presence here is also a statement, a clear statement that he and his administration and his party is against the proliferation of armaments and weapons that kill children. Joe and Jill Biden attended a church service and will also meet with victims' families. A passenger plane is missing in Nepal with bad weather hampering the rescue team's search there. The Tara Air flight was last seen near the tourist town of Jom Tsong in the northwest of the nation. 21 people were on board. To sport now, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply. And remember, guys, gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-858-858. Jai Hindley has made history, winning the Giro d'Italia. He's the first Aussie to clinch the title and only the second to win one of cycling's Grand Tours. Blues coach Brad Fittler has unveiled his 22-man origin squad with Katoni Staggs and Stephen Crichton getting the call-up as the new centre pairing. And a big weekend of drama-filled football saw Collingwood defeat Carlton by four points. Port Adelaide won against Essendon by 16 points. St Kilda had a win over North Melbourne. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, Top Gun Maverick has been Tom Cruise's best ever movie launch. So far, it's raked in 248 million US dollars worldwide since its debut last week. And Demi Lovato is signalling a new direction in her singing career with a new single coming out next month, pointing to a rock and roll makeover. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.